Hi, Harry Dent here. Uh, we had a great Secure the Future conference uh, in February. Uh, I was over there for three weeks promoting the new book, The Demographic Cliff, and doing a three-day conference in Sydney and then in Brisbane and a few other conferences I did while I was there. And, you know, one, one of the feedback we got towards the end was there was a number of kind of like business people that said, gosh, can 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 we have Harry for a day? Can, can Harry come back over for a day and just focus on, on the kind of business strategy issues he did on the bonus day, the, the last day I spoke, and, and the economic issues? And I said, you know, yeah, I, I could do that because a lot of people don't realize I, I became an economist from being a business consultant. Harvard MBA, business strategy. My first job was working with Fortune 100 companies with Bain & Company, major strategy analysis, made major changes in companies, and we always focused on the product life cycle and where different products and divisions were and how businesses had to change their strategy every time the stage of the cycle changed. And that's what most businesses, what killed most businesses and caused so many uh, mishaps and losses. And so we were able to be objective. I then did the same type of consulting to new ventures and smaller growth businesses in California in the 80s because I, I, I just love new ventures and growth businesses better. But here's what I learned from doing that. I have found um, from working at tech in the late 80s and early 90s giving lectures to hundreds and hundreds of small business executives, growth businesses around the world, including dozens and dozens of groups in Australia, that if I can just have you know, a half a day or a day with a small group of business people, I can put out our unique uh, economic concepts and give people a clear vision of where the economy is going. And, and I see one of the biggest changes of our lifetimes coming, particularly in the next six years, and as, as the winter season deepens that started in 2008. So we're not over this crisis, and I spell this out at the Secure the Future conference, and anybody that spent hours with me, I think, got it pretty clearly. But again, it's the same thing. Businesses have to have a different strategy for each of the four seasons. I break the economy into spring, summer, fall, and winter. We're going from the fall bubble boom season to the winter shakeout season. This is the most challenging season, like the 1930s, where tons of businesses went under, tons of banks failed, but the businesses that hunkered down, focused, and survived gained massive market share and dominated their industries, not for years, for decades. So this is the most opportune season. So from A to Z, uh, I can come back, spend a full day, and there's two formats I've found that work. Um, again, I, I've done one day with just one business with all their top management. Well, that's going to be too hard to do here. You know, first, the, the morning's about uh, the economic and business strategy tools, and the afternoon is about, you know, strategic uh, mastermind, kind of how do we change our business. And again, what I have found in a short period of time, because I have such clear and powerful tools and you have such knowledge of your business already that you don't need to bring in a Bain and Company or a small business consultant and spend you know, weeks and months of analysis by people that don't even understand your business. You understand your business. I just need to give you some clear insights so you look at it differently and understand where you are. So I found this can be very efficient. Now, the second format I've done, I just did a couple months ago with a group of 30 business entrepreneurs that came out of a, 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 an 800 conference that I spoke at. This was all day with 30 people and basically I presented everything from the, all the economic tools down to all the business strategy tools and, and the micro demographic tools and all of this and people got to ask as many questions as they needed to. So it was a whole day of presentation, Q&A, uh, and then I've also done sessions where, you know, like with tech I used to give lectures and I used to just spend, you know, three to four hours with 12 CEOs. And, and then a lot of interaction and, and, and strategizing and, and implications and, and, and all of that sort of stuff. So that's the things. What, 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 if you're interested in this, I mean, I'm willing to come back. I have to fly halfway around the world. It's going to cost a lot of money to get over there. I, I do not look forward to the jet lag as usual, and I can't stay as long this time. I can't stay three weeks uh, and, and, and kind of blend into things. I have to come out for a few days and come back. But we can have, like, a group of, of 30 business CEOs or, or, or people who invest intensively in businesses and, and spend all day with, with a lot of content and a lot of questions and answer. Or I can do a smaller group with perhaps 12 
uh, business CEOs. And, and we can spend, especially in the afternoon, more time kind of troubleshooting and strategizing for each business and not just getting feedback from me, but the other CEOs in the room. I mean, it's going to cost probably just under $4,000 a person for us to do a seminar all day for 30 people. It's going to probably cost closer, just under $10,000 to do it for 12. It's up to you. I mean, that, that's what works out for us with all the expenses and, and, and fees and, and, and all of this sort of stuff. That's the two things we can do. And, and given your interest, um, we can go either way. Uh, and, and I know both of these work. And, and I tell you, I've just seen this before. This is powerful. In one day, you are likely to see major changes and opportunities you didn't see in your business before, understand where you've got to focus or where you've got to refocus um, and be able to make major changes. And with the tools I'll get you, you can do some follow-up analysis if you need to dig down deeper into where you are on the S-curve. And that's a powerful tool. And, and, and the game is won or lost on a small part of that S-curve, and most businesses miss that. Where you are in the four stages of your product life cycle, and of course, where we are in the four seasons of the economy with the biggest change and shift in your lifetime and in your business's lifetime. So again, I'm happy to come out, uh, and if not, you know, if there's not enough interest, I'm happy not to come out because I'm, I'm very busy and I've spent uh, three and a half weeks on the last trip to Australia. But I, I especially love working with entrepreneurial and growth businesses, so I'm happy to come out. You give us feedback. You know, you show your interest. You give us feedback, what format works best for you, and we will try to make that happen. Thanks for listening.